guys, Basic Brit here. So sorry I only got one video out to you this week. I'm going to give you a story time that is going to actively help you understand what I have been through. Not even, I would, like, normally I would say like for the last two months, but I feel like it's been just stuff like this, which not, it's not this bad, but just stuff like this constantly happening over and over and over again and that's why I had to take a break from doing YouTube for a while because I was just so exhausted and I didn't know what to do but I'm back at it but obviously this last week was just so crazy and I'm still trying to like get things under control this week so I'm going to give you a story time on the time that my car decided to die in the middle of the freeway so if you want to listen to me talk about this terrifying experience and everything that happened leading up and after it then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so basically, um, my car, if you've seen it, I'm sure you've seen it in a couple of vlogs. It's older. Uh, it's the 1998, it's up there, 20 years old, almost as old as I am. Uh, when I originally bought the car, I was buying it because I was planning on only working like in the area I lived in, like just around that area, because there were a lot of restaurants and stuff around there, and I was planning on getting a job close to me and I was going to get an older car that was really cheap. I bought it for like a thousand dollars or something close to that. I can't remember how much but uh, I bought it for really cheap and I knew it needed fixed up so I bought it really cheap knowing it needed a couple things fixed up and it cost probably about five hundred dollars to fix everything and I knew that it wasn't going to be a car that would be good long distance or in the long run so I was hoping that it would just last me for two years at least for a job in that area so that's why I bought the car and it worked great like I got it fixed up I used it for my job which was five minutes down the road from me literally like it was like five minutes and I drove it there and had no problems at all it was Toyota I don't know if you guys knew that but it's, it was Toyota it ran so well had no issues with it like I literally I mean I can't even think there was like nothing that really went wrong the that whole first year driving it just that five minutes down the road and of course like I would take it like so like I would test the limit sometimes I would drive it a little bit farther like to see my friends downtown stuff like that but for the most part I was only driving it about five miles a day so like that's understandable driving my car five miles a day I then got offered a promotion in Malibu, which is about a 40 minute drive from where I live. And it's about 23 miles from my house. I was a little worried because I was like, okay, my car like isn't exactly like meant for that. It's more meant for like just driving around this area, but like I wanna give this a shot. Like I don't wanna turn the job down. So like, let's just see how my little car does. And so I started driving it obviously there and like within probably like a month, stuff started going wrong with it. And um, I just had to keep putting money into it. I probably put like almost, I want to say almost $3,000 into it. Trying to just get stuff fixed. Because I wanted to hold out for as long as I could to have enough money to get like a new, like a newer car uh, that would last me for a really long time. Like hopefully like 7 to 10 years. Um, and so I wanted to wait until I had enough money to get a car that was going to be really reliable like in the long run. So that's why I was like, let me just keep putting a little bit of money into this and like wait until I have enough saved up and then I'll buy a new, a newer car, not new car, but a newer car that will like last me longer. Well, my car didn't want to do that. So last week was my birthday. I think you guys remember that. And the day before my birthday, I had taken my friend, like she drove from where she lived, uh, like, to my house, which was, like, halfway to where we were going, and then I drove us from my house to where we were going, and, like, that whole drive was a little weird, and, like, you could tell there was, like, something wrong with the car, and, like, it had been having issues, like, I, like, I knew it had been having issues, but I just kept telling myself, like, oh, it, like, it's just old, like, it's just, it's fine, it's just an old car, but that was not the only issue, obviously, <laughs> um, so... She was even like, your car, like, is running a little weird. And I was like, yeah, like, I'll probably have my mechanic look at it. It's probably fine. Like, probably not a big deal. And she was like, okay, like, whatever you say, you know your car. And um, we drove it home, and it was still, like, doing the weird thing. But I was like, ah, it's, like, not that big a deal. Like, it'll be fine. The next morning, we were going to Disneyland. And so I drove my car to my friend's house. 
and that's like about 10 minutes away and it was still like being weird like just driving it just 10 minutes away and then we drove her car to Disneyland and we did the whole day there you guys saw that vlog I also hope you guys really liked that I was really proud of the cinematography of it uh, I thought it was super cute and I'm excited to do more videos like that I definitely want to do like some day in the life ones like that and then also I'm going to San Francisco soon I don't know if I told you all that but I'm going to San Francisco soon and I definitely plan to do a vlog or two like that because that was so much fun and I hope you guys liked it anyways so we drove her car to Disneyland did our day there came back home and it was around midnight and I drove my car home and the whole like it was like it's five minutes without traffic so that whole five minutes I was like there's something wrong with my car but like as long as she can last a little longer we'll be okay <laughs> And so I parked it, went home, went and got inside, went to sleep, woke up the next morning, got in my car, and the entire back seat had water. Like, not in the seat, but in the floor, like on the passenger side, there was water all over it. And my front passenger floor, yeah, front, my front passenger floor had uh like this yellow liquid like all over it and at first i was like there's like dog pee like all over my car floor like how did this get in here and so i called my mom and i was like what's like why is there like dog pee all over my floor and she was like that's antifreeze like just drive your car and make sure that it doesn't overheat put some water in it if it does start to overheat like you should be fine and i was like okay sounds good so I drove my car to work and like obviously it was still doing all of the weird things and I was like wow that, like that's so weird that like my car leaked from the inside but whatever like it, I'm not thinking like maybe I should like maybe this isn't safe to drive um so I drove it home that night and it was just still like being its same weird self so I wasn't really thinking like this is dangerous to be driving drove it home to work the next day and then when I went to get in it that night my battery light was on and I was like that's weird so I called my mom and I was like hey my car started fine and like it's running but my battery lights on and she was like that's weird well if it started you're good just drive home and I was like okay so I start to drive home and the first thing I noticed was my temperature gauge was like more on cold than it was hot and I knew that it could freeze I had put water in it like she had told me so I knew that like that could freeze and hurt my engine but it wasn't like all the way cold so I was like okay so like it's not frozen but it definitely wasn't like where it normally is like in the middle and then I kept driving it and the ABS light came up and that's the automatic brake system light and it came up and then went away and I was like starting to get a little freaked out so I like called my mom again but I was on don't worry I was on a uh, speakerphone so like don't think that I talking on the phone while driving uh, and I called her and I was like hey like my ABS light is on and it went off and it's coming back on and then also my temperature gauge is like closer to cold and she was like well it's cold outside and I was like no like, it's not usually like this. And uh, she was like, Brittany, just get home. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, you're fine. And I was like, okay. So then I hang up. And I'm still driving. And then I notice, like, all my lights starting to get really dark. And this is when you would think I would pull over. But I didn't. I just called my mom crying. And literally having a panic attack because... I didn't know what to do because I'm not that close to home because I work really far away and my car was dying and so I was like mom like what do I do like I'm freaking out like I don't know what to do and she was like Brittany like stop freaking out just get home like you're fine like just drive the car home and I was like okay so then she called me back probably like maybe 10 minutes later because she was starting to really freak out and like I was like in full tears at this point and she was like, why are you crying? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like this is going to be the end. Like, I literally said to her, like, if this is the last time like, I talk to you, I just want to let you know I love you. And she's like, stop talking like that. <laughs> anyway, so I make it off the freeway ramp. Like, my exit, thankfully. I, like, make it that far. Somehow, like, by God, I make it off the, my exit, off the freeway. 
and I'm like going down my road. I'm only like, like probably three miles from my house. And I was, all I can think is like, if like, I just get no stoplights, I can just like keep going and then like, I'll make it there. That's the only thing that I was thinking in my head. And, uh, of course I hit every single stoplight that I could hit on the way and my car just couldn't take it. And so I had to pull it over and, uh, I pulled it over into a parking spot. Thankfully, like there was just one that was open that was also like completely gone because it just happened to be there. And I pulled it over and turned my car off and tried to turn it back on and then it started ticking. And I was like, okay, that's not good. Like I don't wanna make my car explode. So I just called a lift and got home. And I literally told my mom because like I was like crying guys. Like I was literally like in hysteria. I was like, why is my car doing this to me? Like I don't understand. Like it's gonna like just stop in the middle of the freeway and I'm gonna die and like someone's gonna hit me and my car's gonna flip and it's a convertible and I'm gonna get smashed and like my head's gonna I'm gonna be decapitated. So that's like what I was thinking. And uh so I get home and I literally told my mom I'm not getting back in that car. We are going to go buy me a new car Monday. And I didn't go to bed till probably 3 a.m. that night because we were looking at cars. And the next morning I called my boss and I was like, hey, like I'm having car troubles. I'll take a lift to work today. Like, don't worry. But like, I just want to let you know, like, that's what happened. And he was like, don't worry about it. Like, just come in late. Like, you're fine. Like, it's not a big deal. And I was like, cool. So then uh, we looked at cars all day and I found one that I really liked. And I was like, we're going to go see this one tomorrow. And like, I had two picked out, but I have one that I really, really wanted. And it had, like, everything I wanted in a car. It had, like, all the safety features I wanted. It also had uh, Bluetooth audio, which was something I really wanted. It was a newer car. It was really, really good on gas mileage. It has economy mode, which is something that I really, really wanted. And it was just pretty much, like, everything. And it had a hatchback, which is another thing. It pretty much just had everything that, like, I wanted in a car. So I was, like, pretty sure, like, I was going to buy this one. So the problem was my car that broke down was parked in a spot that had street sweeping on Monday. And Monday was the day we were going to go look at my new car and going to go buy my new car. I kept saying to my mom, like, we're not going to, like, just look like we're buying a car. And she was like, okay. Um, so we literally had to wait for a tow truck until 2 o'clock in the morning for this tow truck to get there. So that was like two nights in a row. I had no sleep. Also on top of that, I was super, super sick. I didn't want to tell my boss because I didn't want him to feel bad because I was going to be counting inventory that night. So I would be there really late. I was so sick and I knew, I like know I did that whole inventory wrong because like I was literally hallucinating like while doing it. I was so sick. It was so bad. Um, and I was sitting in a freezing cold car until 2 a.m. waiting for a stupid tow truck to come take this demonic car back to where I lived. So yeah, um, but I did end up buying the other car. It's been great so far. I'm hoping that it really lasts me a long time and I love it so much. It's been so good so far. I still wanna have my mechanic look at it because I did buy it used and I wanna make sure that there's like nothing that they tried to pull over my eyes. <laughs> but so far it's been driving amazing. It's been, it's been perfect. And I'm like, I'm like, like I said, I'm really hoping it lasts me for the next seven to 10 years. Um, I don't have to worry about cars. It's Toyota, which usually Toyota's run for a really long time. Obviously, mine ran for 20 years. So, uh, anyways, that's pretty much the story of what happened and, like, why I wasn't able to film last week because my life was such a chaotic mess. But it's okay because now I'm trying to sell my old Toyota for $500. So, if anyone wants to buy a Toyota that doesn't run for $500, hit me up. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I am so excited to do some hauls and favorite thing videos next week. I have those planned and I am super stoked for them. I love you all so much. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.